TV and the Tennessee Titans have traded for Eagles running back DeMarco Murray. Now, he's kind of an Eagles running back. I mean, I guess um, he's with them for one year, but he really didn't do much anyway. I mean, we think of DeMarco Murray being a Cowboys running back. He was there for four years, and then he went to Philadelphia, signed a five-year, $40 million deal. Things didn't work out. He wanted to get out of there, and he actually seeked out the Tennessee Titans I uh, wanted to be traded to them that we are now learning and the Tennessee Titans obliged and they traded for him. Now, for those of you that do not know, I am a Tennessee Titans fan, so I'm going to be a little biased here when I'm talking. I'm going to view this from a fan perspective. Now, I'm happy about this, and we need to learn about the compensation for this trade. I mean, we have absolutely no idea right now what the Tennessee Titans gave up for DeMarco Murray, and we're hearing uh, that the deal was restructured. So he's no longer going to be on this five-year, $45, $40 million deal that he was on that he signed with the Eagles last year. It will be a deal that is reduced, and I expect for this deal to be reduced to about maybe $6 million, maybe $7 million. If it's less than six, but then the Titans really got a good deal here. And also, in terms of the draft pick compensation, because, excuse me, that's what it is. They, they gave up draft picks. They didn't give up players today. So, in terms of draft picks compensation, if it's higher than a fourth round pick... Wow, you gave up too much. A third round pick for this team is so crucial. I mean, we're talking about the Titans own right now the 64th pick in the draft. That's their third round pick is the 64th pick in the draft. You can't give that up for DeMarco Murray. Uh, you can't do it. Now, the fourth round pick, uh, I think it'd be too much. But I could get behind it if he comes in and he performs really well. Okay, I could get over that. But it would still kind of hurt because that'd be pick 100, which is just at the top of the fourth round, which is just after the third round. I think that's too much. Fifth round and below, well, I'm happy about it. Like if it's even two fifth round picks this year and next year's, I'm fine with that. I think once you get to the fifth round, honestly, talent is sparse, and that's in any draft. Now, yes, there are occasionally the Richard Shermans of the world, the Cam Chances of the world, and fifth round picks actually go on to do stuff, but usually that is not the case. There is a huge drop off. Hell, from the third round to the fourth round, but definitely from the fourth round to the fifth round, I don't value fifth, sixth, and seventh round picks at all to be honest with you so if it's two fifth round picks I'm happy with that if it's a fourth round pick though he needs to do well because man you could regret this one uh, fourth round picks there's pretty essential to me at least especially when it's going to be at the top of that fourth round you can actually get a, a talent that you consider to be a day two talent but failed to round four so I would be a little bit concerned if it was a fourth round pick now in terms of the contract again it needs to be if I was reworking it anywhere from six to seven million seven million max if it's more than that i'm a little uncomfortable if they stick with the contract before i'm really uncomfortable the good thing is that i believe the eagles have already paid nine million of his 21 million guaranteed contract so that leaves the times for laying 12 million in guarantees for demarco murray over the next uh four years if he maintains the contract that he had coming in now the contract isn't great i mean we're talking about cap hits uh, of nine million for like the next three four years pretty much and it's a little hot and now i don't think he's gonna live out this contract i mean i'd be shocked we're quite frankly, if DeMarco Murray is on the Tennessee Titans in 2019, I'd, I'd just be shocked. Uh, but I do believe, in terms of getting a guy that can come in here and work well in this Mike Malarkey ridiculous system, and I do think it's absurd. I, I do question why Mike Malarkey wants to run a power run team. I really don't understand this, to be honest. I, I don't get it. I, I, when you have a guy like Marcus Mariota, who's very agile, who's very quick, in terms of straight line speed, and also, uh, moreover than that, can really throw the football down the field, I think you'd be better off employing a finesse uh, type of vertical 
passing game to be the prioritized for your offense, to be the priority. Uh, a, a Drew Brees, New Orleans Saints type offense. Hell, a Phillip Rivers uh, type offense. A Tom Brady type offense. I mean, why we're talking about power run scheme, why we're talking about uh, straight line running backs, uh, we're talking about what they say, exotic what? Uh, exotic something, whatever he's talking about. Uh, exotic powerhouse or some crap. I don't know why you're running this scheme. I, I think you're not getting as much as you could be getting from Marcus Mariota here. But okay, fine. Let's run. Now, now, that, we're, now that we're running this stupid scheme, now that we're, we decided to go down this route, this is one of the best running backs you could get to do this, uh, to run this offense. It was either him, you could have got uh, Doug Martin in free agency or Chris Ivory. But in terms of like running backs that could be available, I think DeMarco Murray is the best one. Now, yes, Doug Martin had a really good year this year. He had 1,400 yards. The year before that, though, he had only like 700. He had some injuries. The year before that, he just kind of sucked. And then his rookie year, he was really good. So we're talking about some inconsistency there. DeMarco Murray, we're talking about some inconsistency there. As he had 1,800 yards in 2014, only 700 yards in 2015. So I still think DeMarco Murray is a better running back than Doug Martin. And I think Doug Martin is about to get paid. So I think in terms of uh, running backs that were available, I think DeMarco Murray is the best one, followed by Lamar Miller, then followed by Doug Martin. And I thought we were going to get Doug Martin. So I think this is just a fine signing. I need to know about the draft pick compensation. I need to know about the contract. But assuming those things aren't too ridiculous, I think this is fine. Again, I don't think we're going to get the most out of this offense that we could be getting. But I think we'll be able to be fine. I think we'll be fine offensively. But this isn't going to be a top 10 offense. It's not. Ever. I, and not under the Mike Malarkey era. I mean, if we're a top 10 offense, I'll be shocked. Top 5, now that's no way. There, there's no way in hell. We're not going to be explosive. And I think that's so absurd. You have a great quarterback employ in a, an explosive offensive scheme. But we're never going to be that explosive offense. Ugh. Fine. You better build this defense. You better build this running game. You better build this offensive line. And then we'll see what happens. So they built the running back. Now, really quick, a lot of people are talking about, well, this means they're getting Laramie Tunsil. What are you people talking about? I've had many arguments over that on Twitter today. This is the deal. I, I don't know why people are saying, and this is the argument. Okay, now that they've gotten DeMarco Murray, they need to get a great offensive line for DeMarco Murray. But here's the problem with that logic. What you're saying is we didn't need a great offensive line, but now that we've got DeMarco Murray, now we definitely need a great offensive line. Why don't you, don't you always need a good offensive line? That should be independent of your running back. You shouldn't sign a running back saying, okay, now that we have this running back, now we better pay attention to the offense. No, you should always be paying attention to the offensive line, and I'm sure that's what they've been doing. They're not going to say, now that we got into Marco Murray, now we want to draft Laramie Tunsil. They're still going to draft or not draft Laramie Tunsil. This is independent of that. This is not going to affect that decision. If they want to draft Laramie Tunsil, they're going to draft Laramie Tunsil. Having DeMarco Murray has nothing to do with it. It's independent. Excuse me. They're going to draft Laramie Tunsil to protect the quarterback, not the running back. The running back should be, yeah, God, I keep burping today, should be independent of the offensive line and saying, if we want a good offensive line, which you should, we're just going to go get a good offensive line no matter who our running back is. And like You're telling me if we had Antonio Andrews starting, then ah, we don't need to worry about the offensive line because we're going to suck anyway. But now that we have DeMarco Murray, now we better care. That doesn't make sense. They're going to draft him or not draft him. I think they're not going to. I th I, if you've been following me, you know I think they're going to draft Jalen Ramsey. But we'll see in terms of that. Um, so, Titans get DeMarco Murray. Comment down below your thoughts on this. Overall, I like it. I, I, I give it a B plus to, with the potential to end up being an A minus. Maybe even an A signing years down the road. But it could also be an F down the road. If he comes in and he absolutely sucks, he absolutely stinks. But it's also nice knowing that Antonio Andrews and David Cobb 
and Dexter McCluster and Bishop Sankey that these losers, that these clowns will not be getting the football this year. I mean, I need to know that because I don't care what you think. Antonio Andrews stinks. David Cobb has shown nothing, nothing. Oh my God, he showed nothing, guys. Maybe like a 20-yard run and that's it. And Bishop Sankey, he's done. And Dexter McCluster is not a running back to me. So finally, we have a running back in Tennessee. Until next time, James Carter TV, I'm out. Peace.